Bill Hicks is Alex Jones refers to a conspiracy theory suggesting that the late comedian Bill Hicks faked his death and assumed the identity of right-wing radio host Alex Jones. Proponents of this theory point to physical similarities between the two men, including facial features and mannerisms. They also note that both Hicks and Jones hail from Texas, and share a penchant for passionate confrontational rhetoric. Some believers claim that audio analysis of their voices reveals matching vocal patterns and inflections. The theory posits that Hicks, known for his anti-establishment views, reinvented himself as Jones to continue spreading his message through a different persona. Supporters argue that the timing of Hicks's reported death in 1994 and Jones's rise to prominence in the late 1990s aligns suspiciously well. They suggest that Hicks's purported transformation into Jones was orchestrated by powerful entities to control and direct public discourse. Theorists often cite instances where Jones appears to break character, claiming these moments reveal glimpses of Hicks's comedic style and personality. Some adherents believe that subtle references and inside jokes in Jones's broadcasts serve as coded messages acknowledging his true identity. You got me. Okay? Are you happy now? You bastards? Yes, I am Bill Hicks. Or to be more accurate, you didn't get it all, did you? You didn't get the full conspiracy. I played the character, Bill Hicks, for 15 years with my accomplice, Kevin Booth, and we fooled you all. The master actor, the master genius. And then I decided to bring forward an even more incredible persona. That of Alex Jones. Biogenic oil refers to the theory that oil and other fossil fuels are not derived from the remains of ancient plants and animals, as is widely accepted by the scientific community, but are instead produced by ongoing biological processes deep within the Earth. Proponents of this theory, also known as the abiogenic petroleum origin hypothesis, suggests that hydrocarbons are continuously generated by non-biological chemical reactions in the Earth's mantle, and that these hydrocarbons then migrate upward to form oil and gas deposits. They argue that the presence of hydrocarbons in seemingly unlikely places, such as deep within the Earth's crust or on other celestial bodies like comets and asteroids, supports the idea that oil can be formed without the need for organic matter. Some advocates of the biogenic oil theory point to the replenishment of certain oil fields as evidence that the Earth is constantly producing new oil, rather than relying on a finite supply of fossil fuels. They also suggest that the distribution and composition of oil deposits around the world are more consistent with a deep Earth origin than with the traditional fossil fuel theory. Additionally, proponents argue that the biogenic oil theory could explain the presence of oil in regions where there is little evidence of ancient sedimentary basins or the conditions necessary for the formation of fossil fuels. While the biogenic oil theory has been promoted by some scientists and researchers, it remains a minority view within the scientific community, with the vast majority of geologists and geochemists supporting the fossil fuel theory. Critics argue that the evidence for biogenic oil is limited and often based on misinterpretations of geological and geochemical data, and that the fossil fuel theory provides a more comprehensive and well-supported explanation for the origin and distribution of oil and gas deposits. Despite the lack of widespread acceptance in the scientific community, the biogenic oil theory continues to attract interest from those who are skeptical of the conventional understanding of fossil fuels and those who are interested in exploring alternative explanations for the Earth's energy resources. Biome over genome is a phrase that emphasizes the importance of an organism's environment and the microbes living within and around it, rather than solely focusing on the organism's genetic makeup. This concept suggests that the microbiome, which is the collection of microorganisms that inhabit a particular environment, such as the human gut or skin, plays a more significant role in shaping an organism's health and behavior than previously thought. Supporters of this idea argue that the complex interactions between an organism and its microbiome can influence various aspects of its biology, 
from nutrient absorption and metabolism to immune function and even mental health. They point to studies showing that alterations in the gut microbiome can be associated with conditions like obesity, diabetes, and neurological disorders, suggesting that these microbes may be key players in the development and progression of these diseases. Some researchers propose that the microbiome could be a more effective target for therapeutic interventions than targeting the host organism's genes alone, as manipulating the microbial community may have a more direct and profound impact on health outcomes. The biome over genome concept also highlights the importance of environmental factors in shaping an organism's microbiome, such as diet, lifestyle, and exposure to toxins or antibiotics which can all influence the composition and function of the microbial community. This idea challenges the reductionist view that an organism's traits and health are determined solely by its genes, and instead promotes a more holistic understanding of the complex interplay between an organism, its environment, and its microbial partners. As research into the microbiome continues to expand, the biome over genome perspective is gaining traction among scientists and healthcare professionals who recognize the potential for microbiome-based therapies and interventions to improve human health and well-being. While the exact mechanisms and extent of the microbiome's influence on organismal biology are still being explored, the biome over genome concept provides a compelling framework for understanding the intricate relationships between organisms and their microbial communities. Birther movement refers to the conspiracy theory that questioned the legitimacy of Barack Obama's presidency by claiming he was not a natural-born U.S. citizen, a requirement for holding the office of president according to the Constitution. The movement gained traction during Obama's 2008 presidential campaign and continued throughout his presidency with proponents alleging that Obama was born in Kenya, not Hawaii, and that his birth certificate was a forgery. Supporters of the theory pointed to supposed inconsistencies in Obama's birth certificate, such as the absence of a raised seal or the presence of layered text, as evidence of its inauthenticity. Some birthers also claimed that Obama's childhood years spent in Indonesia and his father's Kenyan citizenship disqualified him from being a natural-born U.S. citizen even if he was born in Hawaii. Despite the release of Obama's long-form birth certificate in 2011, which confirmed his birth in Honolulu, Hawaii on August 4, 1961, many birthers remained unconvinced and continued to promote the conspiracy theory. Some critics of the birther movement have argued that it was fueled, at least in part, by racism and the desire to undermine the legitimacy of the first African-American president in U.S. history. This refers to the theory that the pseudonymous creator of Bitcoin, known as Satoshi Nakamoto, is actually a group of individuals or an organization related to the banking industry. Proponents of this theory suggest that banks, seeking to maintain control over the financial system, created Bitcoin as a means to understand and potentially undermine the growing popularity of decentralized cryptocurrencies. By creating and releasing Bitcoin, the theory posits that banks could study the technology behind it, identify its weaknesses, and develop strategies to either co-opt or suppress the cryptocurrency movement. Some supporters of this theory point to the advanced technical knowledge required to create Bitcoin and the relative anonymity maintained by Satoshi Nakamoto as evidence that a single individual is unlikely to be behind the cryptocurrency's creation. They argue that a group of experts, possibly with ties to the financial industry, would have the collective knowledge and resources necessary to develop and launch a project as complex as Bitcoin. Additionally, the theory suggests that the bank's involvement in creating Bitcoin could explain why Satoshi Nakamoto disappeared from public view and ceased involvement with the project, as the banks may have wanted to distance themselves from the cryptocurrency once it gained traction. While there is no concrete evidence to support this theory, it has gained attention among some cryptocurrency enthusiasts and conspiracy theorists who are skeptical of the official narrative surrounding Bitcoin's origins. However, many experts in the field dismiss this theory, arguing that it is more plausible that Satoshi Nakamoto is indeed an individual 
or a small group of individuals unrelated to the banking industry, given Bitcoin's decentralized and anti-establishment ethos. The true identity of Satoshi Nakamoto remains a mystery, and the theory that banks created Bitcoin is just one of many speculative explanations that have emerged in the absence of definitive information about the cryptocurrency's creator.